what we're looking at here in this video is um, how to turn a 2630 cable measure from a mechanical system to an electronic system. Uh, essentially you have a 2630 fitted with an encoder and uh, what we're using here uh, on this uh, example is, is a 9100 uh, electronic counter. You can use obviously other counters but we're just showing, showing this as an example and we'll just show it a little bit closer up in a few moments. The setup we've got here is fairly straightforward. Um, as mentioned we've got a 2630 here, no counter on it and what we've had here is a fitted a 250 pulse encoder which provides one pulse per millimetre of, of movement of the uh, the rope coming back through the uh, the unit. Um, on this example we've coupled it to a 9100 uh, we've set in here uh, that it's an electronic input and we've set it for uh, quadrature which means that uh, when the encoder moves backwards and forwards you can see the the numbers on the front go up and down there so we've only just got a small amount of rope through at the minute but we've set the um, we've set the scaling so that uh, that it shows a, a, a useful um, unit on the display uh, the 9100 is powered by by main supply 230 volts and its internal DC power supply provides the power for the encoder so really if you're after upgrading from mechanical measuring systems something like the 2630 or 2600 it's fairly easy uh, an encoder gets fitted we can arrange that standard encoders come with two meters of cable but if you want longer than that obviously we can we can specify at the time of, uh, of doing it for you but uh, this is just to show you the example of turning uh, your mechanical measuring system into an electric, electronic one, which is fairly straightforward, and we can help you out with that.